The war seemed to unfold in the blink of an eye. I don't remember exactly when the forces from the west occupied my town. I was too busy scanning the skies day after day, waiting for Yellow 13 to reappear. changed. The language they taught us at school. Our friendly local sheriff disappeared and was replaced by foreign MPs. In the beginning, some people secretly tuned into broadcasts from North Point on their parabolic antennas. But as time passed, the broadcast no longer came in. Maybe the satellites were destroyed. All non-military computer networks were shut down. Gasoline was rationed to civilians. Though we lived in the 21st century, we were reduced to using crystal radios and horse-drawn carts. I moved in with my uncle in town, who used to be a taxi driver. Out of gasoline and out of work, my uncle did nothing but to drown himself in drink. I earned my keep by playing the harmonica in the town bar. The one thing I was good at. I'd play for sullen occupation soldiers in exchange for their charity and loose change. And used the money to support my uncle and myself. My uncle trash-talked the barkeep who catered to the enemy soldiers. But he never refused the money I brought home. As for myself, I had a crush on the barkeep's only daughter, who was a little older than me. Another day passed, yet still no sign of the fighter plane Yellow 13 in the skies above our town. The enemy-held Wrigley Air Base is located in close proximity to our front lines, making it the proverbial knife at our throat. A large Illusion bomber contingent was deployed to Wrigley. Their intentions are clear. A full-scale strike on our forces at North Point is imminent. Your mission is to catch these bombers on the ground and destroy them. We intend to turn the parking ramp at Wrigley into a junkyard. Closing in on Wrigley AB. Scramble at once. This is not. 
six. Move the bombers. Hard enemy radar spike. was a success. A significant number of enemy bombers were eliminated and a full